making it through we are on to science now um, today I'm just going to talk about what I have chosen to do for curriculum for this year for science for homeschooling my multi grade level children um, you guys already know the deal if you came from my other videos and I'm just gonna lay out what my goals were and the resources that I have decided to start with for teaching science this year science is kind of like so much fun for me I love it so much there's so much stuff to learn and um, so I got some really cool things I tried to simplify it because I can just get overwhelmed overwhelmed, you know <laughs> so I'm trying not to do that this time around so this is what I have chosen so the very first thing that I did was I go into my homeschool goals and my planner in Evernote and um, and this time around, instead of starting with actual topics um, to develop my goals, uh, I kind of had an idea of what I wanted to do. Um, so I had gotten these. So if you've watched any of my homeschool hauls, and I have been collecting a few of these um, Discovery Kids Factivity books. And I absolutely love them. They are so cute. They're full of just um, good facts and fun activities. They have the best illustrations. And I haven't been using them as much as I would like to. So I thought that this time around to keep it pretty simple, let's use them um they lay out a bunch of different topics inside of them that are science related so i just sat with the ones that i had and i said to myself how can we make this work this one is the factivity explore experiment and discover the world science and inside of them they lay out a bunch of different topics for you to explore that are science related so the first one here is so what is science next one is less experiment then there's science and inventions and I really like it because it keeps it nice and simple it is a nice introduction and they always have some type of simple activity um, that is at the end of each section so I was like you know what let's just go ahead and use this as a curriculum or a course of study for us to help us introduce different topics in science to the kids because why not? <laughs> I actually have four, four of them. I have the experiment and discover the world of science, travel back through the time to the land of dinosaurs. I used this one before last year, but this one is travel through the amazing world of wild animals. And I'll explain to you how this applies and how I'm using this. And then the last one is blast off on a mission to explore space. So I have these four. Once I looked inside at the contents, I was like, okay, how can we lay this out? Basically what I did was I took um, all of the contents inside and I divided them by the amount of school weeks we had. These are gonna be used during our unit study. So we actually have planned out a dinosaur unit. Um, this one here, the uh, travel through the amazing world of wild animals. The way that they lay this one out is the animals are introduced, separated by biomes. So biomes is actually one of our units that I wanted to cover. So they have the tropical rainforest, the grasslands, the polar regions, the desert, the tundra, the seas, and the oceans. Can you hear the kids in the background? <laughs> they make me laugh so much. Anyway, so because this one is separated by biomes, I figured this would just be used for our biomes unit. This one, of course, we're gonna be using for our dinosaur unit. This one we're going to be using for our outer space unit. And this one is just gonna be our general science. Each one of these unit studies I'm gonna have cover eight weeks, about eight to 10 weeks of school. So the space, the dinosaurs, and the biomes will each be about eight weeks apiece. And then the remainder weeks 
of our school year are going to be split up amongst this general science book and how I have thought in my head that it's going to work because at first I thought I was going to have to purchase at least um, two of each of these books so they could all complete the activities inside each of them but then I thought to myself my oldest is really really creative and he's very much so into making his own drawings and his own notes of what we're studying so I'm going to just let him do that in his art book so whenever we start a certain topic, say we're doing sorting, sorting stuff, he likes to draw the items out and um, label things and make whatever notations and notes on his own in his art book. So I'm going to let him do that. And it works out great because my younger son is not so much, he likes to draw and do that type of thing, but not as much as my oldest. And he gets really frustrated when you try to get him to do it every single time. So this actually filling out the actual book would be a better fit for him. He likes to complete um, the worksheet and I think that this would work out better for him. So having just one copy is going to work well for us. And then Savannah, she's just going to be thrown into the mix and I'll have other little activities that she can do if she's getting bored with what we're doing. But that's basically how I'm going to use it to um to teach my multi-grade children <laughs> so um after figuring that out i went ahead and took each little category inside of the books and separated it and put it into our goal list and so i know that we're probably going to cover um one section a week or one lesson a day depending on if we're doing a unit study or if it's just one of the general science lessons so i have what is science that's experiment science and inventions and that's how we're going to do that and as we get through certain ones i'll check them off i don't imagine that we're going to get through all of them but i just would much rather have more things planned than to not have enough things planned and to be trying to figure out what i'm going to be doing today so that is how I laid that out. I forgot one thing, you guys. Another thing I wanted to add to our little um, science curriculum this year is I found this book. I've shown it in Instagram posts and Instagram stories, and I love it. Um, I wanted to include this and incorporate this into our science plan. So I think I found a way. Um, I'm not going to dig really deep into this book. However, I think it would be nice to just introduce um, a new woman in science to them every week. So every week I'm just going to pick a new woman in science. Maybe I can find one that relates to the topic that we are covering um, in science that week. But I'm just going to pick a wonderful woman and just read it to them. And for me, this is just about exposure. Uh, I really like the idea of introducing them to all the many women that have done so many wonderful, wonderful things that you just, that, that aren't as popular. And the reason why I wanted to include this for sure is because I kind of have a backwards approach to how um, I want to teach my kids about life. Um, I, I feel like if I introduce to them all the many things that certain figures have overcome, hopefully it'll just kind of be like ingraining in them that to not let anybody put any limitations on you. Does that make sense? It's, it was really hard for me to articulate. I'm sorry. <laughs> But I just thought that by ex exposing to them all the many women in science and when we go back and talk about um, women's rights, they will see that, wow, like for real, there was actually a time when people thought they couldn't do that. So I definitely, want, <laughs> I definitely wanted to include this because I think it's a lot about exposure. I don't expect them to remember any dates or remember the names of people, but I think that being able to just read about one of them and that are listed in this book every week would be nice exposure for them. So I'm definitely gonna be doing this. And then I also have this Smithsonian Maker Lab. Um, I really like this book. I got this from the library as well. It's super cute, but more than being super cute, all of these experiments are really, really easy. They're really easy and pretty simple, don't require a whole bunch of resources. So I just wanted to be able to pick one of these to do each week or every other week 
um, a lot of them are things that are really simple for the kids to kind of do on their own, at least my oldest. So I wanted to add this to my collection as well and toss this in the mix somewhere. In addition to that plan, I have a few apps that I added to our list of goodies, and that is the Tiny Bop Explorers Kit. Now, this one was a little bit pricey. I don't normally pay a whole bunch for an app, but this one was a set of apps. I think there's maybe there's five inside of there and I really loved them. I thought it would be great for the kids to explore. So this set of the Explorers, Tiny Bob Explorers app was $18. But like I said, I'm okay with that. Um, if you are purchasing a boxed curriculum, then adding on an $18 app is going to seem like a lot for you. But you have to remember that I am not spending that money to purchase the boxed curriculum and a lot of the resources that I'm using for curriculum are things that I am getting from the library for free or they're things that I have gotten for a super discounted price as like Ollie's or things that I've gotten that I'm using from years before. So a lot of my budget and my money for homeschool is actually set aside to be used when it comes to applications. So it's not that bad for me. I don't wanna make a habit out of having an $18 app purchase, but it's really not a big deal because I'm not spending a ton of money on a box curriculum set. So I have the Tiny Bob Explorers, Meet Science, the magnetism and electricity, then it has the My Spacecraft, the Rocket Science for Kids, and then I have another one called Creatures of Light. I think it is a, um, what is it called when it goes along with a program inside of, I think this app is from a museum, but I liked it a lot, and I thought it would, had a lot of useful information and would be great for the kids to explore, so I got it. <laughs> And that is all I have. That is basically how we're going to approach science. Um, when it comes to a time where we really want to dig deeper into a certain project, um, then I will have monies that are set aside for us to do that thing. But I didn't want to pre-plan those things ahead of time because I may put a lot of effort and energy into something that they're not really into. So I don't want to do that. I just want to kind of go with the flow and just have a general gauge of what we're going to be attempting to cover and study. So I hope you guys like this video. That is what we are going to be doing for science this year. And also for these Factivity books, if you wanted to pick them up, I got this one off of Amazon. Um, the other ones that I got, I actually got from my favorite place, Ollie's, <laughs> and they were only like $3 a piece. But I couldn't find this one in any of my Ollie's, so I actually had to purchase this one on Amazon, and it was a little bit more. I had to pay about $9 for this one, but I guess I just felt like it wasn't that big of a deal since I couldn't find it anywhere else and I really wanted to include this in our space unit. So yeah, that's where they come from. I would suggest finding one in an Ollie's. If not, then maybe you could try and find it on Amazon. So that's what we were going to be doing for science this year. I hope you like this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you like videos like these and make sure that you're subscribed if you're not already and I will see you in our next video. Bye.